So I want to talk to you today about my new hobby, and that would be making wine. Um, ever since coming to Leova, I've had the opportunity to um, go with my business partner uh, over to his uh, parents' house and learn how to make wine from scratch. Um, it's a very long process. Uh, it's a very tiring process, but everything that we've done in that, in that time has been very productive, and also uh, it's just very, it's just very fun. Um, so the way that it kind of started um, was first, obviously, the offer. Uh, he needed an extra guy to come with him and his uh, brother-in-law to carry big bags of grapes um, from the farm on over to his parents' house. So the first thing that we did was we drove out about 20 minutes to a nearby town called Saratanoa. And in Saratanoa, um, we ended up buying around 400 pounds of grapes. Um, so each one of the bags were filled um, by his second cousin, who's uh, about a 50, 60 year old man who works on the farm. And we bought about 400 pounds of, of these grapes. And um, the total price came out to be around 2,000 lei. Um, the conversion rate is 12.5 lei to a dollar. So, I mean, doing the math, it was somewhere, and this is just a guesstimate, but somewhere around $150 uh, for about 400 pounds of grapes. So with each bag, um, we took out a scale and we put each bag onto the scale and each bag was around 40 kilograms. Um, and as each bag was filling up, there was about eight or nine. Um, I just asked if I could jump on the scale just to see you know, how much I'm weighing in at now. And well, the funny thing is, is that I haven't gotten on a scale since I've been in Chicago. So when I was in Chicago and I was leaving Chicago, I probably weighed around 178, 180 pounds. Um, stepped on the scale and I came out to being 72 kilograms and after doing the, the math for 72 kilograms it was around 159 pounds um, so I've lost 20 pounds since coming here um, I feel really healthy I feel that I, I eat well I, I work out nearly every day um, playing basketball and other sports with my friends around here but uh, that just kind of blew my mind so um, it's probably the reason why I can't really fit into my sweatpants. My sweatpants have been getting really, uh, really loose. But um, after taking those grapes, uh, we shipped them on over to uh, his dad's house in, in his van. Uh, we took off all the bags of grapes, um, put them in the backyard. And from there, uh, I was introduced to the Zdroboritor. And the Zdroboritor is translated to the crusher. And if you've seen any of my pictures lately, um, the crusher is basically uh, a big funnel, a big metal funnel at the top with a crank on the side that you have to turn. And what we did was we took um, each, uh, it was probably half a bag of grapes at a time, so maybe 20 kilograms of grapes at a time, and put them into the top funnel. And as you start to crank and crank and crank, uh, the grapes go through and just pretty much squeeze out all the juice. And right below this crank was about a, it probably held up to about 500 pounds worth of juice with this big wooden barrel and all of that juice and all the stems, the seeds, uh, the skin from the grapes fall right on down and go into this huge barrel. So we had to do that for 400 pounds of grapes and you know pulling that crank uh, it was tough. I mean it's it's not easy work. Your arm gets tired really fast. I mean five, six, seven minutes of doing it nonstop, and uh, you're pretty spent. So the process of doing that alone took about two hours uh, between me, uh, Vitali, and Andre which is his uh, brother-in-law um, after doing all the cranking and getting all the grapes through, which was obviously 500 pounds, we had to go into the barrel with our hands and start taking out all the big stems, all the sticks. Um, if there was any grapes that were kind of left over, we kind of crushed them by hand and, and kept them into the, the barrel. Um, obviously, we couldn't reach our arms down to the bottom of the barrel or even halfway through, but just getting that top layer and just you know, getting as much juice out of them as possible. Um, what Vitaly actually told me is that he's going to remove all of those grapes one more time and put them back through the crusher um, after he's done um, taking more and more juice out. So after you're done filling up that barrel, what you do is at the bottom, there's a small hole at the bottom of the barrel and it has a wooden plug and you stick a plastic container underneath that plug and you pull out the plug and fill up buckets and buckets at a time of the raw juice, which is called the must. And the must, by the way, is probably the most delicious uh, drink that I've ever had. It is, it's 100% pure grape juice, and the grapes out here are so much different than the grapes in the United States. When you pick up, um, you know, just a small, 
just a small like I don't know, handful of these grapes. You can actually, I can actually smell the grapes from here. It's, it's, it's a lot different than, you know, the grapes, the grapes that we have at the grocery store. But, um, anyways, back to my point. Uh, you fill up these buckets uh, with the raw grape juice, and you carry that into his beach, which is his wine cellar, and we pour that juice into a bigger uh, barrel, and from there, uh, the wine uh, ferments, and, you know. Each bottle of wine is different. <clears throat> He's told me that some he likes to do one year of waiting time, others two years, three years, and they just kind of experiment. Um, but during that process of fermentation, what you have to do is put these bottles in individual, put the, sorry, put the wine in individual bottles. And he told me every two weeks, you kind of go into that beach, into this cold basement, and you turn these stick, these, uh, they call them stickles of uh, wine. And as you keep doing that and keep doing that, the wine, you know, I don't know what it is, it just adds a different flavor, it just makes the wine taste better. Um, and that's that's the process, I mean, that's the very simple way of, of making wine from start to finish. Um, when I get more details, I'll provide them. Uh, but it's just been a really great experience to have just that opportunity to get up on a, you know, Saturday afternoon and, and work for six, seven hours and do something that's not only labor intensive and makes you feel like you've worked hard, but you get to enjoy it afterwards. Um, if you've checked my pictures one more time, you'll see that when we were all said and done, we had a nice big feast with chicken, soup, bread, salsa, and Vitaly ended up pouring uh, glasses of red wine and white wine for us to try. And it's just, uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful culture. It's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful process to go through and I've just been enjoying it so much. Um, so I will be writing additional uh, details about the wine process on this blog. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon.